Welcome to Math with Professor V. Here's your latest integral of the day. Definite integral from zero to one half of x times e to the two x over one plus two x quantity squared dx. If you want a little hint, you're gonna to need to use integration by parts and that's pretty much it. Okay, so the trick is really just choosing u and dv appropriately and it might take a few tries for you to play around with you know, the winning combination. So for you, I went ahead and chose x e to the 2x, and then dv is 1 over 1 plus 2x quantity squared dx. All right, so in both cases, it's going to take a little bit of work to find du and v, a little more than typical. So du, remember, we need to use the product rule when differentiating x times e to the 2x. So the derivative of x is 1 and I'm gonna leave e to the 2x alone, plus, now I leave x alone, and then derivative of e to the 2x would be 2e to the 2x, because we need to use the chain rule, dx. And then one thing I'm noticing is that in this derivative, I can actually factor out this e to the 2x from both of the terms. So I'm gonna write my final version of du as, e to the 2x times 2x plus 1 dx. How are we doing? This is du still. We were just cleaning it up. Now, to find v, it's helpful if we remember that dv is actually 1 plus 2x to the negative second power dx. So then, remember, when you take an antiderivative, you're going to add 1 to the exponent, divide by the new exponent, and because of this 2 in front of the x, I'm also going to divide by 2 or multiply by a half. If that's too much, then maybe do this as an actual little baby integral off to the side if you need to see all the steps laid out. But if you've been doing this for a while and you're in Calc 2, you're probably fine. So I'm going to add 1 to the exponent. The new exponent is going to be negative 1. I need to divide by the new exponent, and I also need to divide by 2 to basically undo the chain rule when we take the derivative of this quantity we would normally multiply by two right so then when you take an antiderivative you divide so that's it um we could clean it up a little bit more though like if you want to write it as negative one over two times one plus two x that's probably good okay so here we go when we rewrite our integral remember it's equal to uv minus integral v du. And we do have limits of integration on this guy. So u times v, here's u, here's v. Let me still try to do the normal little loop situation I love. Okay, so I'm gonna put x e to the two x in the numerator, negative x e to the two x over two times one plus two x and then remember, this gets evaluated from 0 to 1 half. And then I have minus integral, again, from 0 to 1 half. And this time we have the product V du. Here we go. V du. Now, interesting, here's a negative. That's going to cancel with this negative, make it positive. Okay, okay. And then the product's going to be e to the 2x, 2x plus 1, over 2 times 1 plus 2x. And let me just put the dx out here. Okay, everything looking good? Yes. Do you notice something now about this integral? 2x plus 1 cancels. It's the same as 1 plus 2x. That's fabulous for us. So let's just rewrite what we have here, and we're in the home stretch. So this was like a very happy coincidence, <laughs> right? That really saved us in this problem. So whoever sat there and wrote it thought this through. So negative x e to the 2x over 2 times 1 plus 2x. I'm not going to evaluate it just yet. I like to wait till everything's done. And then now let me rewrite the integral a little more neatly. Let me take that two in the denominator out, so it's a one half, and then you have zero to one half e to the two x dx. Good. From here, we should be ready to roll. So negative x e to the two x over, this is two times one plus two x, and then I'm not gonna put the line on the right anymore, I'm gonna wait all the way at the end, 
plus antiderivative of e to the 2x is going to be 1 half e to the 2x. And I already have another 1 half. So that's 1 fourth e to the 2x. And then now I'm just going to say we're going to evaluate everyone from 0 to 1 half altogether. You don't have to do it this way. Sometimes I see people, they'll evaluate this part at the limits and then do this after. But I just feel like it's cleaner when you do it all in one step. But it's up to you. Or check if your instructor cares that much. I don't know. Um, here we go. So upper limit is one half. We have here negative one half times e to the two times one half. So e to the first over two times one plus two times a half is one plus one fourth e to the first minus lower limit. If I plug in zero for that first term, it's just going to be zero over two. So it's just a big zero plus one fourth e to the zero. Okay, let's see what do we got here. This is negative one half. And then I have four in the denominator. So that'll end up being negative one eighth. And there's still that e to attach to it. So negative one eighth e. Okay, negative one half, four, and then there's still the e. Plus one fourth e minus zero, minus one fourth times one, yes? Very good. And then the final answer, we'll just combine like terms because these two both have e's attached to them. So that'll be one eighth e minus one fourth. Beautiful. Okay, that concludes the integral of the day. A couple of my classes are taking their final exams today, so I hope they do great. They worked so hard all semester. I'm actually, I always get a little sad when the semester ends. Some of them I'll see again um, because I'm going to be teaching summer school in a few weeks, but others, I don't know. I, do, I always tell them, please keep in touch. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Needless to say, the rest of my week's going to be really hectic, so I'll just probably be uploading some pre-recorded stuff that I have. Um, and then, like I've said before, during the summer, I am going to keep integral of the day going. I'm going to work on doing a little bit more advanced integration techniques and stuff in some of the videos. And then I'm also going to be working on the business calculus video lecture series. I'll try to finish up differential equations and linear algebra best that I can. And then I have a new project I'm working on as well. So thanks so much for your support. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. How did you like this integral? Was it spicy? Was it whatever? Are you guys so good now? They just don't even phase you. <laughs> and also follow me on uh, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Math with Professor V. Thanks so much for your support. I love you all. I'll be back sooner than later. Bye.